And developing tonight, the United Auto Workers Union says it has struck a deal with Ford. It could be a breakthrough to end the nearly six-week-old strikes against Detroit automakers. Ben Henry in the newsroom with more on this tentative deal and what it could mean for local UAW workers on the picket lines. Ben? Kevin, it could mean they might be heading back to work soon. Tonight, the deal that has been done between United Auto Workers and Ford could increase pay more than 30% for workers. Union leadership said tonight they expect this will have an impact on the other two. This is a strategic move to get the best deal possible. We're going back to work at Ford to keep the pressure on Stellantis and GM. The last thing they want is for Ford to get back to full capacity while they mess around and lag behind. For nearly six weeks now, about 46,000 workers have been striking at facilities owned by Ford, General Motors, and Stellantis. That is the parent company of Dodge and Chrysler. According to UAW, the deal made tonight is four years, includes a 25% wage increase and cost of living raises. UAW says that puts the top wage rate increasing by more than 30% to above $40 an hour. Here at home, workers at a Stellantis Center in Plymouth and General Motors facility in Hudson, Wisconsin, have been on the picket line. A union expert says this could have a big impact to come. I'm looking to see how does this inspire more workers who are not yet in unions to think that unionizing is the right way to go. Um, that's the next chapter. It's dangerous to ask a historian to speculate about the next chapter, but I can guarantee you and your viewers, it's gonna be interesting. In a statement, Ford said tonight, it is pleased to have reached the deal and said it will focus on restarting a couple major plants in Kentucky and Illinois. UAW says there are still several steps ahead, including local union leadership holding meetings to go over the agreement. Eventually, in order for it to be finalized, the 57,000 Ford union members need to approve it. Live in the newsroom, Ben Henry, 5 Witness News.